I'm gonna be playing me some NFL fever. So, anyways, I am doing the Bengals and the Bills. So let's see what happens this game. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coin toss. So this is the Bills matchup this weekend. We're playing the Bengals at home, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how things go. Let's do it. All right. That was a horrible return, but I only had one hand on the controller. All right, let's see what we got here. So this game is really tough. I'm going to see what I can do against this team. We shall see. Make sure my options are set. No, I don't want it fast. I like medium. I got to change that in the main settings. All right. Oh, man, he could have broke that for a long one. In this game, if you don't stop that, you get in trouble. So, I'm still working on the rosters, guys. Um, I'm making teams pretty quick, though, I'll tell you that. Oh, big hit. Like last night, I made three teams in two hours. <sighs> Hour and a half, maybe. Um... Yeah. So, two hours, I think. It takes me about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes to make one team because I need to create all of the players and, uh, and I need to create them all in the game. And I'm finding that if I put the college name as the team name, so Chicago will be C-H-I. You know, you put the abbreviation of the team. Then if I do it in the game, it makes it a lot easier than doing it in the editor because if I create a bunch of John Does, I'm finding out that when I assign them to the team, so just to recap, you know, I create, create my, my John Doe players for every position that you're going to need on your depth chart. And then I assign them to a team, but I don't set the co I don't typically set the colleges. I wasn't doing that in the beginning, so I'd have a whole bunch of John Does in the editor, and I really didn't know who belonged to what team, because what would happen is there's leftover John Does in the game that are kind of hidden to me. I don't know. So, so somehow like they're just showing up in my editor, and I'm not sure if that's something I did or. Or it's just you know, pollution in the file, but anyways, um, yeah, yeah. So <sighs> so I have little tires, kind of late, but uh, on a weekday. But oh, damn man, these guys are good. This computer's sick. So anyway, so there's some John Does that are that are gone, like orphans, and and what happens is they show up in my editor because I only group by the John Doe name. So it'll pick up all the John Does in the game, and it may not be the ones that I assigned to my team. So I've goes to let's say the Chicago Bears, but there's like 10 or 15 John Does that are somewhere that I can't find in the file. You know, oh, that's a nice stiff arm. The question is, you know, when I load up the file, I'm going to show all these John Does, and I'll, I'll import. The next thing I do is import the rosters and the ratings. But if the rosters get imported to these orphan players, then they're really not set to the team, and I can't find them in the game when I go back in the game. So the best thing for me to do is just set the colleges to the team 
abbreviations in the game. And then I assign those players so I know I only have those players on my team. And then when I load up the editor, it works perfect. I make a team a lot faster because I've been having a lot of issues after the fact. So up front, it takes more time to create the team in the game, like all the players in the game and assign them because because creating them takes more time because now I have to create the the uh, the colleges I have to, like type in the name the team names in the college for each player whereas before I was just clicking through and and basically just selecting every position yeah that kick those kicks are a little strong I might need to tweak the, the ratings on that um, see if I can get some but the wind the wind is the wind might be a contributing factor because this game the wind does make a difference so I took Ty Tyrod Taylor's mask off or or visor because oh come on because they're they're all dark in this game and I wanted to kind of see his face don't ask me why but this game's tough, man. Like, the, the receiver, like, the defense is really tight. I might need to find a way to tweak that because I feel like it's just a little bit too too difficult. You know, that was a great catch and throw. Hopefully he's okay. Get up, Watkins. All right. So, anyways. Yeah, so that was the whole breakdown of the roster creation process, but I'm busting through teams. Last night I made, I made San Francisco, I made Denver and Chicago. So I'm kind of starting from the top, you know, from the 49ers down. And I've already made a bunch of teams. I think I'm on like team, I think I've made 13 teams already. So I'm almost halfway there. And now that I've got um, really, like, while I was making the teams originally, you know, I, um, every time I'd make a team, I'd run into some issues with the editor, little, like, little things, like, there was a problem with the, the eyes of the players, like, if you put the wrong settings, or, you, like, for large, here's what I found out, basically, so if you put, if you put the, man, this game is tough, so you, if you put the, let me see what's going on here. Yeah. If you, I found out that the that the heads in this game. So when you go and you, and you put like narrow or long or whatever head you want in this game, you um. You know, I found out that. Yeah, I knew that was a bad pass. I didn't lead him enough. But I found out that if you put, oh, let me say it this way: there, there are some heads, in the, the the heads in this game are the faces. I think it's the heads. Yeah, it's the heads where you have narrow, long, regular, full. All those head shapes, those are, those are different depending on the body type. So if you pick like an all-American or Mercury player or prototype player, they're one set of in the game at least, like in the actual roster file, it's one set of values. So narrow is gonna be, let's say, value one. But then if you switch it to tank, or all world, or earth mover, and you pick narrow, it's not one anymore, it becomes like 15. So I was trying to insert the value that you would use for narrow for a, let's say, mercury player on an earth mover player. And for those of you guys who play this game, you know what I'm talking about. When you're creating a player, you got the body types. And when you do that, the game didn't like it, and the guys end up with these weird-looking eyes and faces in the game. Oh, that was a bad move. Damn, come on, man. Get him. Um, so anyway, so that was one of the, the few things that I had to figure out uh, while I was building these teams and, and really creating... You know, importing the rosters that I've got working now. 
So every time I would do it, I'd find a small issue. And then, you know, little by little, the, the process would get cleaner and better. And now I'm at a point where I feel really good about the whole process. I mean, the editor's working well. So I should be cranking these teams out for any of you guys who are interested in the rosters. Get that guy, man. This game's tough. Now, the one thing I'm doing, and for those of you guys, any of you guys out there who know about FIFA or no, Fever or know the ratings, I'm basically taking the ratings that come from Madden 16, and I'm using those as my import. I'm not sure if I'm doing any tweaking. I might be making some adjustments to those ratings, like on the fly. But at the same time, you know, I'm no expert when it comes to testing. Oh, great play. I'm surprised I didn't call pass interference there. I got to see that again. Sorry. So, let's see this play. Oh, I got to see that again. It might have been some pass interference there. No, he, no, he just, he just didn't get it. He kind of got Hey, put his arms down for some reason. I don't know if he would have caught that. Maybe he wouldn't have got to it in time. I don't know. But I'm not going to complain. So, anyways, it, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not, and I haven't spent time on the, on the ratings to make them perfect for this game. But I'll tell you, this AI is tough. Like, really tough. And I can use what, you know, what Madden has, or I can even look at the, the ratings that come in this game, out of the box. I'm gonna have to do a, uh, I have to do a little audible here, see what they do. But, um, you know, I'm not sure if the ratings out of the box are better or not. But I know I'm using Madden ratings, and that means that. Oh, man, this, it's like this line collapses so fast, too. It's like I don't even have a second. I guess they were coming at me with a blitz, but that was a great pickup on the block. Yeah, I got to see that again because that was ridiculous. Yeah, the running back got him, I guess, McCoy. But then I still had to throw pretty quick. But that was a good defense. Um. So anyway, so I may need to figure out how to change these ratings and make them a little bit better because it feels almost impossible to do things. I mean, but this AI is tough, man. They're coming at me with this fucking dog blitz. Excuse me. And, you know, I'm not... I'm not ready to throw the ball, man. These guys, this, It's either this team or something, but they're, they're tough. You know... Oh, thank you, Watkins. That's you again, boy. You're doing it big. So I'm just going to play the first half. See if you guys can check out the gameplay. Let me know if you see anything off or weird. You know, these rosters are coming straight from 2K4's rosters, so they're not going to be perfect. And then, you know, the ratings I'm using for Madden are the ones from their uh, their week one rating so whatever I can match up to the rosters I have on 2k well they're gonna come in but the ones that you know that I can't match up on god dang man some of these plays are pretty dope I like some of these cool plays they do so it's third down so one thing I want to do here is set this guy in a hot no yeah I'm gonna set the black on a hot route. No, 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 no. No, see, I don't want that. I want. I guess I just leave it. Yeah, I'll throw it too. Man, this it's like you gotta throw early. All right, so I know I'm kind of rambling, but the point I was trying to make is that these ratings are tough, and this game's tough out of the box. So I mean. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but whatever. 
kicking it that far if it can't be covered. He so, got it going pretty good there. Some tweaking to make the gameplay more um a little easier. I mean easier meaning not just so touch tight coverage or blitzing be you know so effective so but I don't know you know it's going to take some time because you know how it is you got to play you got to play some games and I'm not I'm not an expert at this game but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better the more I can understand these controls because they're definitely different than what I'm used to um, oh good D boy Is that McKelvin? Yeah, I don't think he's playing yet. Yeah, he's not he's not ready yet. Yeah, that's McKelvin. Good D boy. Did he catch that ball? I guess he caught it. Yeah, he caught that ball. Can you believe that? Are you kidding me? See if we can. Man, I even picked to go left. Mama Kelvin, get him. Oh. Yeah, that's the one thing about this game, too, that I'm trying to figure out is the sprint, man. So you push A, you hold A down to sprint, but once you use up all your lightning bolt sprint, the guy just slows down. And. I guess if every player is doing, has the same type of, you know, sprint mechanic, then it makes sense because everyone's going to kind of hit their baseline speed. But when you're when when I break for, for, you know, for a run, I feel like as soon as I lose my my speed boost, I slow down so significantly that players just yeah it must have been the winner there because look at that kick, you know I start to lose. Yeah, I start to lose my speed and just totally slow down. But anyways, I'd like to see if I can break a break a run in this game, like a long run. I don't know if I've done that yet. So that's a counter right there. God dang, man. Can't do anything in this game. Um, but yeah, I got to figure out some things, guys. But I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to get this going. I mean, look at that crazy pass. And that guy's on him like glue. I can't even shake these guys. So I need to figure something out here. Let's see if we can get this guy going. Let's see if we can throw it to X. Watkins. No, that's, that's McCoy. Man, it's like, I can't even get these long plays. This team either is blitzing me or my offensive line is playing like garbage. Yeah. I mean, he just got pancaked. Damn. Or bulldoze what he got. Shit, dude. Okay. Anyways, well, I got some work to do. And the ratings need some some TLC. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, I know I need to improve in this game too, so it might just be me. But I feel like, man, there's just way too much. Way too many things that are not going my way. And I guess Cincinnati's good, so if they do this to us this weekend, I'm going to be pissed. I want to get some better... better play. Hmm. So I might do some backbreaker video next. I got the backbreaker rosters pretty much set as like a baseline roster just messing with the ratings now 
So we'll see. You'll probably see some videos on that next, so stay tuned. But this is just some raw gameplay with the new rosters. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's a big hit, boy. Watch your back. McKelvin's still in the building. But this is just, like I said, just some gameplay. I normally, I don't normally do live commentary while I play, but, you know, to save some time, I thought it, it would be helpful to just do it while I play, and then that way I can post a video and not worry about having to do double, double commentary or, you know, two different things. One with the video and then one with the commentary. So hopefully it comes out all right. If not, then, you know, we'll see. We'll see, but this is a little easier for me. But I'm getting smoked. I'll tell you guys that. And, you know, it's cool. But I I definitely want better gameplay than this. I feel like I can't do anything right now. So maybe it's just me. <sighs> Could just be me. But we shall see. But... I'm excited to play these rosters, man. I know this game looks like old and everything, but I really want to break one too. I'm dying to break a break a break a uh, a kickoff return. All right, Tyron, let's do something. Stop beating around the bush. Oh well, don't call that, please. Oh wow, they didn't call intentional grounding. Okay, they should, probably should have there. So down on the D-pad is to pump fake. Up is to throw it away. I got it. Let's go to Clay on this one, I think. Boy, that's the way we do it. I'm sick and tired of playing these games. Let's get busy. Let's get busy. Ooh, I need to call a timeout. So I guess we got one shot. Drops back. Tosses it. Airborne. Oh no. Incognito take him out. Alright, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll I'll do it again soon. Later.